Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. I open a whole bunch of boxes every single month, subscription boxes, mystery boxes, boxes of all kinds. So if you guys love boxes as much as I do, then definitely hit that subscribe button down below because I open a whole bunch. We are gonna go ahead and open up my AI Beauty Bundle box. It's like the longest name of all of my boxes. This is the February 2022 box that we're opening up today. It is a monthly beauty subscription and they will feature one brand inside of the box. So it's one brand for the entire month and then all of the products inside of that box are from that brand. $35 is all this cost. It's full size products and you receive five to six items inside of it. Personally, I feel like this is the beauty box to watch or purchase. I feel like you get the best overall deal with it. Plus I get to try a lot of new stuff with them. Like things, brands that I've never heard of or products I've never had before, I love that I can try new things. Also, I do have a coupon code available for you guys. My code is SISTERS, which will save you 10% off of your box. They did contact me and tell me that the code will be deactivated and changed to my name. So I don't know when that goes through. So I'm gonna post both of those codes down below. If one doesn't work, try the other one because then that one should work. But the code is going to be Sydney and my name is spelled with two Y's. And if you put that in, then you'll get 10% off of your first order. <laughs> featured brand for February is going to be Jason Wu Beauty. Now this brand is totally new to me. I have honestly, okay, I'll let you in on a secret. I hadn't even heard of this brand before. I had no idea this brand existed, but I'm excited to try it. I mean, look at how full this is. There's a lot in here. First item that I have today is going to be the Magic Matte Oil. This is 20 ml of product. This product says that it will transform your face from oil to matte instantly. This can be worn alone or you can wear it as a primer before you put your makeup on. So they do have an example on the back here of someone that's put it on half their face, cuts down on oils, which cuts down on shine then. Next up is going to be the Brow Shaper Soap and it's called The Bush. So interesting name. And again, full size product. It does say vegan and cruelty free on it. This one, if you wanted to purchase it, it will cost you $14. It does say on the back that it requires a mist to activate the product. They recommend using their product on their website or you can use water. And then you'll just pick up the product on an eyebrow brush and then apply it to your eyebrows and it will lock them in place wherever you would want them at. So it's kind of like a glue for your eyebrows, but not as harsh. Because it requires the activation of a product and they recommend theirs, I think it would have been nice to have that spritzer in this box. So I kind of wish they would have because it's not in here, but I feel like they should have sent it to really make this work. So this is what the product looks like. So there is a mirror and then it's kind of like a wax almost. My next item is going to be hot fluff. Not hot stuff, but hot fluff. I'm pretty fluffy, so that would work for me. So this is number one and it says that it's for your lips, eyes, and cheeks. This is a matte weightless lippy that you can use as an eyeshadow blush or lip color then. And then this is going to be our color. It has a retail value of $12 on it. And this is in the shade Jelly Roll. I love these names, they're so funny. This is what the product looks like. I do like this berry color a lot, but I think it might be weird if you use this as an eyeshadow. I don't know about you guys, but to me this looks like, if you were to apply this, it might look like a kid drew all over your face. Oh, it's like that book that I read when I was really little, like kindergarten or first grade, and it, he had the magic purple crayon and he drew all over the place and things would come. I haven't read this in forever. This just totally came into my brain. It's so weird, but I loved that book. This reminds me of that. Basically, I went from the idea of this would look like a crayon drawn on your face and I think you should keep it as a lippy. That's my personal thoughts. We also received another hot fluff in the number five and this one also is $12 and it's in the shade matte agave. So this is going to be more of like a nude color then, but it's definitely warm toned. Next up, I have two lip liners 
And they actually look like they will go with the lippies that we just received, so I like that. They will retail for $10 each. I have the shades Royal and Parisian Chic. These are what my two shades are going to look like. The Parisian Chic is on top, and then I have Royal down below here. These are going to be crayon pencils, and it does say that they are a gel formula, so they are gonna go on nice and creamy and soft. Next item is going to be the Saved by the Patch, and this is a pimple patch. There are 36 patches inside here, and this says that it has tea tree oil and salicylic acid on these patches. They're transparent and they're waterproof, and then you just apply it to your pimple, leave it there, and it will help to dissolve it a lot faster then. Okay, they are cruelty-free and vegan. It even has volcanic ash in it as well. It's really far down on the list, so I'm guessing there's not a lot of it, but I do think that's cool because I have found that volcanic ash does help to draw out impurities, so I think that is a key ingredient to include in here in addition to the salicylic acid as well and also having the tea tree oil. But it does look like there's two different patch sizes in here. On the side of the box, it shows how many that you get, 18 of each of them. So you've got one large, one small. So you got a little bit for each of them. This is $12 for this box of 36 them. It is a little weird. I think we have all of this like makeup oriented products, and then we get a random skincare item in here. So I don't know, it's just kind of different to me, but anyways. Last up, I have a palette, and this is going to be the Flora 9 eyeshadow palette. It is in the shade Matte Agave. So I'm learning very quickly from this brand that he is obsessed with matte shades and real neutrals, which is okay because a lot of people like neutrals. I feel like this box is going to be perfect for like going to work, you are running short on time, grab these, they're just gonna give you the nice pop of color. So I think this is kind of a nice on the go kit. The packaging is really nice on this eyeshadow palette. There's no mirror inside of it because it is a clear acrylic case, but it feels really nice. This feels actually expensive and it only retails for $15. So it's not that expensive either. So that is everything inside of my AIA beauty bundle for February. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think. If you have ever tried the Jason Wu brand, I would be curious to hear your thoughts on it of what you think of the products, if you enjoyed them, if you didn't. Share all of that with me too, because like I said, I don't know anything about this one, so I'm just gonna have to try these products and just see how it goes. So I would value your input on it. But overall, I'm still happy that we have full-size products in here. I love that we got makeup in our box as well because it seems like it's hard to get makeup in beauty boxes lately. I don't know why, but it's been a challenge. So until next time, you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in a future unboxing video. Bye.